The Grand Village at the heart of the Strip is a popular place for tourists visiting Branson, Missouri. So today, I grabbed my sister and we headed over to the Grand Village to see what it has to offer. The Grand Village has plenty of parking at the back, even if the front and side parking fill up. We decided to park in the back today just for easier access. The Grand Village is located next to the aquarium at the boardwalk and has a convenient pedestrian crosswalk connecting the two if you're already parked there. We're entering the village at the southeast corner. There is a convenient map of the shops and eateries located near this entrance. The first shop on our right as we enter the village is Dickens Gift Shop. Let's go in and have a look around. This gift and collectible shop features Branson gifts and souvenirs, candles, clothing, handbags, jewelry, music boxes, toys, wind chimes, and fudge. And that describes only a few of the things available here. Working our way back outside, just to the left of the entrance is Lori's Soap Market and Gifts. Just as it sounds, this shop features soaps that are handmade with natural products, including olive oil and goat's milk. Let's take a quick look inside. Located next to Lori's is the Thomas Kincaid Signature Gallery. At the time of this video in late July, the gallery was closed with a sign saying they were moving to another location in the village. I was unable to find this spot, however, so I'm not sure what's going on with this. If you know, leave me a comment. Located in the southwest corner of the Grand Village is Sugarleaf Bakery. Sugarleaf Bakery is a great place for breakfast and lunch as well as all kinds of baked goods. Let's check it out. Sugar Leaf features breakfast items, paninis, soup and salad, sandwiches, and desserts. There's an indoor and outdoor seating area available. Also connected to the cafe is Sugar Leaf Coffee, which serves all of your favorite espresso drinks. Heading through the west side of the village from Sugar Leaf Bakery to the north and toward the Branson Strip, we come to Mulberry Mill. Mulberry Mill features gifts, kitchen items, coffee and tea, gourmet food, and many other items. Let's go inside. Next door is Sunrise Leather Works. Just as the name implies, it's a store featuring leather goods. Let's take a quick peek inside. Another shop on the west side of the Grand Village is Outrageous Attire, a boutique for ladies filled with up-to-date fashions in women's clothing.
Also located on the west side is Kringle's Village Treasures. This store features gifts, collectibles, Christmas villages, and selected Thomas Kincaid artwork. Located in the northwest corner of the Grand Village is Mel's Hard Luck Diner. Mel's is a well-known and popular 50s-themed diner in Branson, which features professional award-winning entertainers that perform while serving patrons. Mel's features a complete diner menu, burgers, and large desserts. Mel's also features its own gift shop, where the music of its servers as well as other gift items can be purchased. Heading back outside into the village, we can see the beautiful landscaping done throughout the village. These colorful plantings are well kept and add to the atmosphere in the Grand Village. As we walk toward the east side of the Grand Village, if you haven't done so, would you take a moment to subscribe to the channel? It really helps us out and helps make sure you see all the new content that we produce weekly. On the east side of the village is what is probably the featured store here, Kringle's Christmas Shop. This store occupying three buildings on the east side is one of the largest Christmas stores in the Midwest and is open year round. It has to be seen to be believed. Let's head inside and take a look around. Back outside, we walk by the three buildings that make up Kringle's Christmas Shop and the main entrance to the Grand Village across from the aquarium at the boardwalk. It is here in the southeast part of the Grand Village that we come to an interesting vintage toy store called Back in Time Toys. Let's go inside and take a look around. There are a couple more stores in the center of the village that I didn't take a lot of video in. First is Grand Glitz, which features women's upscale apparel and accessories from top line brands. Another store is the Copper Coin, featuring all kinds of penny jewelry and home decor. This store wasn't open the day we were there. Also over on the east side next to Back in Time Toys is Jocks and Socks, 
Unfortunately, this store was also closed when we were there with a note on the door saying they would be right back. It's a sports collectible shop that features fun socks. Sorry we missed it. The last shop that we had not visited on the east side was Tea Maze, the tea shop, featuring, as you might imagine, all types of tea. This brings us back to where we started at the Dickens Gift Shop in the southeast corner of the village. Thanks for visiting the Grand Village with us today. We hope you've enjoyed having a look around. If you like videos like this, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. Meanwhile, check out this video next for more travel fun. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.